Hello y'all, welcome in Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah. Finally another hot taste, I know, I know. It's been too long, I have not given up on the hot taste, but between time constraints and a few random tummy issues, it's been a while, okay, it's just been a while. But jumping back into it with some chips. These claim to be hotter than hot. We'll see, we shall see. These came from Dollar Tree, by the way. Mm -hmm. Look around your Dollar Tree. You never know what you're going to find. You might find something good and interesting and cool. Like, you know, that's probably a bit. I'm not sure if it was a buck or a buck 25, but, you know, sometimes their food is just a dollar instead of a dollar 25. So this is Zapp's Potato Chips, New Orleans kettle style, hotter than hot jalapeno. Naturally and artificially flavored. All right. All right, New Orleans. Kettle style chips are cooked to perfection and combined with premium ingredients. This special recipe results in a crunchier, tastier, and unique potato chip experience, which we hope you will prefer. We thank you for buying our product. Enjoy and I can never say it because I don't speak French, but let the good times roll. Let the good times roll, y'all. Okay, that that's what they're saying. And that's from the folks at Zaps Potato Chips. Now, we know that every packaging is Deborah proof packaging, so we're solving that. Skizzers. All right. Oh, I smell the heat right away. Okay. The jalapeno pepper powder is way down the list of ingredients, so I don't know if it's going to be a lot or not. That's interesting. Down at the very bottom. Not for sale in California. Why? What makes these not able to be for sale in California? If you know, let me know below. That's kind of funny. All right. Looks like a good chip. I've had Zapp's chips before. They're usually pretty good and pretty crunchy and stuff. Jalapenos and I don't get along really well. I've had some bad experiences with jalapenos. My mouth is watering. <laughs> that just want to burn your face off. To where something with a hotter pepper is like, eh, it's hot, but eh. But jalapenos, sometimes they're tricky little buggers. All right, let's give this a shot. Nice crunchy chip. The heat is right up front. <clears throat> Got the jalapeno flavor, pardon me, <clears throat> which is a good flavor. Um. But the sting of the heat is right there. Pardon me. Yeah, that's all I brought. <laughs> um, is it hotter than hot? No. Does it have a good sting? Yeah. And the warmth is lingering in the mouth after a while. It's not one of those that's going to be like, oh, I'm going to die from the heat, y'all. It's not going to make me cry. It might make me cough, but some of that's chip and some of that's just, you know, jalapeno sting. But, yeah. I think this is a nice snackable chip. Let's have another. Mm-hmm. I think these would be good with some dip. Even if, if you're not someone that likes the heat, get a dip that's a little bit cooling. Dip these in. That way you get a little bit of the heat from the jalapeno. Have a little fun with that, but then have some dip to cool it off. It's like, ooh, I, I did a thing. Yeah. Of course, when I think of New Orleans stuff <clears throat> and Louisiana food and stuff like that all together, I'm thinking of a place that we've been to eat a few times. Oh, what is the name of that place? There's two of them in Greenville, South Carolina. The Lost Cajun. You get, not sponsored by any means, but if you get a chance to check out the Lost Cajun, check them out. They've got some great food. Um, and their, their story as to why it's called the Lost Cajun, it's all you know on the menu and stuff. Yeah, check them out. These, not bad. Hotter than hot. No, they're not. But they, they got a little something in there. A little something. If you're like not a chili head, like I, I am not a chili head, these are going to be plenty hot enough for you for most things. 
If you're a chili head, you're going to grind this up and snort it and be like, yeah, whatever. Okay. But for those of us who are not chili heads, who just want a little spice in our lives to, yo, look, I ate a spicy thing. What? These are okay. These will do it. The quality of the chips though. I mean, they're top notch. Yeah. The kettle chips are always so crispy. The Zap chips are pretty good. They have a bunch of different flavors. I still don't understand why they're not for sale in California though. Seriously. If you know why, let me know. Cause I, I may have to go digging on the interwebs to find this out. Why? Why? What have you done to California? Hmm? I mean, I'm in Georgia, so I have obviously can find these with no problem. Do they have to smuggle them in? Is it like, instead of having to smuggle in drugs because like now I think certain things are legal, they have to smuggle in chips? What? I could be wrong. I could be totally wrong. Anyway, have you tried these before? Have you tried Hotter Than Hot? Which I just keep eating because they're just not that hot. Um, or are you a little scared of it? It's okay. My hubby can't deal with any kind of like heat spice at all. He would not even try these. I don't even think he would sniff these because they'd be a little too hot for him. But for me, I've been eating some spice. Y'all know I have. Look at the, the playlist came up at some point. Okay. You know that I have done some spice now. Yeah. You start to crave it, you know? <laughs> thanks for coming by and enjoying hot taste with me i will try to do keep doing them every week again like i had been because it's fun and i have a bucket of stuff over there that's just for hot taste so yeah tell me your experience with zaps any of their flavors like i said they're a pretty good chip and uh check out my playlist up above and leave me a comment down below i would love to hear from you see you real soon bye y'all